I'm reconnecting. There we go. We're back on, are we? We're back on. Let's We're back on. Get, can um, can you, you change? Can you no, no, leave that up. Can you pull up another screen? Make sure the volume's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, videos. We'll leave Wi-Fi off. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. We got sound. We got sound. We got sound. Carbon base. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Hope everything is going good in the oil field. Send me a text. Catch me up on what's happening, man. Um, out there, West Breeden. What's happening? Okay, it's <clears throat> crystal clear at the moment. So good. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. You keep an eye on it. I will. We are. Uh, we're live here. Shiny love. What's going on? We're live here from the Snuggle Bunk, in Boise. Uh, got her some doctor visits done today. Got to do a tooth cleaning tomorrow for the fine young animal and then i've got my lasik second evaluation monday so this is kind of like we're finally settling into our break a little bit even though this is only one city of our break but i saw on cdl life i put the link of this in the description of the video pardon my manners good afternoon hurricane good afternoon it's um, actually evening where we good are e good evening <laughs> yes it is <laughs> it's evening but uh, I put the link in the description. She actually says it pulled up. We're going to show you the clip. I don't know if you've seen this clip. Okay. Einride out of Switzerland. The pods that they're going to be using, the, these autonomous pods, they require a somebody on a control stick, you know, remotely. There's no, there's no driver. There's no co-driver in the truck if something goes wrong. It's somebody controlling the truck remotely. You know, what could go wrong with that if you get a flat tire or, you know, what could, what could go wrong, right? But it's only these these pod trucks. Almost like a drone pilot, almost. It's a yeah, yeah, it's like a drone pilot. But the pod trucks are going to be used for GE freight initially. Is what this article sounds like, and I have the link of the article in the description of the video. Um, they've already gotten approved by the FMCSA, which is kind of odd. That you know, never heard of the company. We've heard of Waymo. We've heard of you know Uber. We've heard of Tesla. Have never, I've never heard of Einride, and Einride, I think you said it is like it means one, one. Well, yes, yeah, one ride. Or sometimes French or German, so Ein one. Ein might be from a one. Yes, yeah, I think it's like one ride, possibly. Yeah. So anyway, I have the link in the description of the video. By the way, smash that like button when you pop in for these bl these beautiful blue eyes over here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Um, oh dear. No, I would no. tell all of you, Tanker Monkey, what's going on? I tell all of you not to be panicked about that because number one we're all we're all the test monkeys like we're all the test monkeys we're going to see how we respond i say we in the sense of you know four wheelers average joe's driving on the road checking their facebook instagram you know twitter feeds all the time they're going to be the test monkeys for this vehicle you know mm -hmm. the the video you want to show a little bit of a clip of the video yeah um, we'll show a little bit of a clip of the video we're about there right no show show the size that very first part okay you want to hold it up yep all right. This is the size. Is that playing? It's playing. Well, now it's now it's died. So give give me one minute. Hold on. There oh, it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Can you see that? Uh, let me make sure we don't have any glare. You see how small that vehicle is? You see that? There you go. That's good. It's almost like it's like a pup. Like a, you figure doubles, you know, with the dolly between them. It's almost like it's a pup trailer is the size of it. I don't see anything online that shows they're 18 wheelers. You've already got Waymo that has an Uber service in some of these major cities. And you jump in the back of the of the, the Waymo vehicle for the Uber ride and you everything is on the control panel on a, on in the back for the, the, the drive or the passenger. You hit different prompts and get going. And that's all autonomous in some of these cities. This truck is like a pup truck, a pup trailer, pardon me. Um, I don't, I'm not panicking about any of this. Number one, I'm old enough where I'm not going to be doing this business much longer, but I, I just don't like, they're going to be starting in Texas with this. Um, I don't know how far North they're going. Yeah. I'm putting it in the ditch. <laughs> I'm putting it in the ditch. going to run it off the road. It's just going to get, this is again, we're test monkeys. We are test monkeys because what, what could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? flat tire in the middle of the interstate you got a vehicle that has uh, no, nobody with it you know can't get out and, and pull it over you can't you can't set cones and there's so many things that can go wrong with this i'd like to see if we have try to put chains on that thing in the now, winter now i know i know i know that based on what is supposed to happen we're all supposed to be in major cities and these high-rise buildings get away from all these rural areas 
that's what that's what the uh, that's what the elite want, right? They don't want us spread out and, and having freedom. I get that, but this is this is almost freaky. Number one, none of I've never heard of Einride, and I've been following trucking news about this kind of stuff for quite a while. I haven't been panicking, but that's a good point, Tanker Monkey. Easy, easy pickings and also carbon based. Easy pickings for uh, hijackers. Because you think about that right now with food prices where they are mm-hmm. and with all this chaos in the supply chain, you think about that right now that truck drivers, if you're not comfortable with a little bit of you know protecting yourself, it's going to get ugly here in about two, three months. When people can't get food and they're looking for food and we're driving down the road with these trucks, they don't know what we have in the back. They're going to come find out, I bet. I bet they're going to faff around and find out. I'm not allowed to say the other words. So I have to say <laughs> faff now. So I bet they're going to faff around and find out what's in the back of our trucks. I really think that's going to be that's going to be the fall surprise we're all going to face as truck drivers. We're going to be dealing with people stopping us, checking what we have, what we're hauling, because the shortages are going to get so bad. I do believe that Mm -hmm. you didn't tune in here to get negative information. I just really believe that's coming. Interesting. This is uh, but it's on ride. You can see you'll see the link in the description of the video. Uh, of this video, put your comments in the in the main comments down below. Once the video is over, what you think? This is going to get crazy. The supply chain's already crushed. It's already crushed. Um, I've been looking at loads, even though we're not running again. You know, till a couple of days from now, probably seven, even seven days from now. I've been looking at loads. Some of these loads are, you know, after you pay for fuel, they're not even not even a dollar a mile before you pay for your truck, your insurance, everything else. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. And luckily, again, we have some dedicated freight with Brothers Graham. Luckily, we're enjoying our break. This is like this is this is the second day, the second full day of the break. Probably the first that we both kind of just somewhat switched off. Huh? Yeah, you got you yeah. got your you got your your stuff done this morning. Your lady, your lady, your lady checks. Yeah, I did. Get my lady and then checks. we went, <laughs> then we came back, took a nap and then took a long walk. And we're kind of just settling in, you know, but this is. I just don't, I don't see this technology affecting us short term, but do think about that. Like somebody pulls this truck over and, you know, disables it and jumps in the back. What's what are they, they going to do? Like, what are they going to do and what's going to protect it? Cause that's going to get crazy. You think about what happened during the, the, the unrest two years ago, what's going to happen in three, four months when the supply chain really starts affecting the whole country, you know? It really starts affecting it. Matter of fact, uh, I'll post, I'll try to, I'll try to do a separate video. I found an interactive map today of all the food processing plants that are, that have been shut down because of various things, you know, and you look at the map of the U S it's an interactive map of the U S and they just keep track of what's happened. The fires, the explosions, the planes flying into the buildings, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy when you look at that and then you start looking at what other countries have as far as supply chain disruption. Nine meals away from anarchy, you're exactly right, Carbon Base. <laughs> you're exactly right. This is going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. Um, and I would tell you, if you guys don't have your Second Amendment with you, I'd probably be looking to get one because it's going to get crazy. We go down these roads, you know, we might be running this next, uh, when we get back on the road, we might be running Midwest, which I don't really want to do. But we might be because it's part of our dedicated lanes and the, the, they're paying pretty good. I really want to stay northwest. Pardon my, my pronoun. We want to stay northwest yeah. if we can. But it's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. Us getting pulled over, forced to stop, and then jumping in to check what's in the back of the, the trailer. Um, I'll make sure we're protected. They can have whatever they want out of the trailer. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not protecting my life over a, yeah. over a trailer. But anyway, I wanted I wanted to share that. The link is in the description of the video. I've never heard of this company, and I've been I've been following this this autonomous truck stuff for a while. I've never heard of it. I said before, if it gets really bad with the autonomous trucks really starting to really make a move, I'll just go back to. I'm sorry, we'll go back to the oil field. She's never been there, but we'll go to the oil field and run. We'll figure it out. They're not going to be able to make put autonomous trucks in the oil field because you can't chain up automatically <laughs> you know but anyway i wanted to pop in we we, had, we didn't do it i don't think we did a stream yesterday did we uh, no we did at the we, at the lay at the uh the river we did we did the yes, river yes 
sitting yeah. there on our camp chairs and just chilling out. It was the duck that was coming. He was. It a, was the duck. He yes. was assaulting us yes. for bread, and we didn't give him any bread. Oh, we didn't give Frankie. Frankie needs to be back in the next video. We didn't get we didn't get Frankie in the video. Well, we, listen, left him, we left him in the truck as well for a few days. Listen, we're about to shut down for the day. Thank you guys for popping in now. Put your comments down below what you think is going to happen with these autonomous trucks. This is going to get crazy. Matter of fact, with real estate, because I'm scanning that right now because it deals. There's properties right now that are dropping twenty, thirty thousand dollars just in the last month. The ask price versus the current price. You didn't see that for a year and a half. You didn't see that. And the, these properties are dropping now. Uh, found another cabin last night, uh, 100 and... Oh, my goodness. It was 160. Something like that, yes. Oh, 160 with, uh, with I want to say it had 20 acres with the cabin, $160,000. That had dropped $25,000 in the last That's month. Crazy. You know? Um, duplexes, quadplexes I'm seeing that, that I'm tracking up in Wyoming, dropping 10, 20 grand in the last month. Uh, people are starting to realize, listen, this market's not going to come back anytime soon. And uh, it's still not quite the right time for us to pick up the next property, but I'm, I'm paying attention to it. You know, this, the supply chain's broken. There's no, there's no two ifs, ands, or buts about it in my mind. And energy costs are going through the roof. We see that with diesel. You see it with, with heating oil for the winter months coming up here in, in about four months, five months in the northeast and in the, in the north. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. But you think about what you're going to be doing as a truck driver. What are you going to do? Put that in the comments. What are you going to do if they stop you because they're looking for food and they don't know what you're hauling? All they know is you're, you're an 18 wheeler and you might be hauling something, you know, they don't know. What are you going to do? So this autonomous stuff, I still don't think any time in my lifetime is going to take over our jobs. Waymo, is probably the most efficient that I've seen in the passenger car arena. Tesla's nowhere near it. Shannon Thomas, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Tesla's nowhere near it with their trucks. You know, I don't see that. This unit, you're still dealing with somebody that's remote. I, I don't, that remote thing just doesn't, I don't think that leaves a lot, a lot of play. I think you're limited. And I know I didn't, I didn't really prepare you for the stream because you were just finishing up doing no, some other cool. things. I, I just think it's odd that it's a, it's a European company, but they're testing it. I, I'm assuming they're testing it here <laughs> on, on the, the American, roads, on the Americans. On the American guinea pigs. <laughs> and I don't think it has been tested in Europe. You know, like it's just, it's just fun. It's just interesting, you know, being European, you know, just, just let's test it on the American roads. <laughs> Yeah, First, yeah. But the, the links in the description of the video. I'll do a little bit more of a of a video on this next couple of days. We've just enjoyed stopping. Like this is just it's been really nice. It's been nice just to stop and not be moving and settling in. So uh, got a few more appointments to get done here in Boise before we we head towards South Dakota. Getting some tune ups, huh? Some tune ups. <laughs> some tune ups. You guys be great. God bless. Red and the hurricane. We are. Bummin' us. Bummin' us. <laughs>